Hi guys, welcome back. So I know my hair looks a little different. I said it once and I will say it again. I do not do hair and for the last couple videos, I have not been doing my hair and today I was just so fed up with it so it's in a bun and honestly like I know you guys have seen me with my hair down like in pretty much all my videos and it's like all done or whatever but typically on a daily basis this is what my hair looks like like I don't like having my hair down even when it's nice and it's down I always end up putting it up because I don't like feeling a hair like touching my face I don't know it's I don't like it I feel like it gets in the way so yeah my hair's gonna be up and um, you guys know the drill, like today's the only day I can film so you know I'm gonna be filming more than one video. So if you see me in another video with my hair looking like this, my makeup looking like this, and my clothes looking like this, you know what was filmed in the same day, boo. Like I ain't trying to front, like this is how it is and I'm not even gonna try to change, like it's, eh, forget all that. Um, but before I jump into the video, um, my lip color, cause I always get questions about what makeup I wear and I don't, I never even thought my makeup was all that profound or like it was that special or anything. So I never listed it down below, but um, the lip color is a combination of um, Chanel, the lip liner um, natural, the um, Rouge Allure Velvet in La Saline. Um, it's a color that we don't make anymore, unfortunately. And um, on top of it, I just put the gloss, the Rouge Coco Gloss in Caress. So you are able to purchase two um, of these three items. And um, we do have a color similar to this. It's called La Raffinée. It's number 34. And I'll list those three items down below so you can kind of like try to recreate this look if you want. Um, but yeah, so today's video is going to be a continuation of my Chanel Makeup 101 series. Um, I'm glad that you guys are finding this helpful and that you guys are able to make more um, informed purchases at Chanel because, you know, sometimes you go to the counter and the sales associate doesn't always have time to explain everything in detail for you. And sometimes you feel like you might not be getting the entire information or like, you know, all the information you can possibly get about the product. This way I can kind of go in depth to, you know, with each product with you guys. And that way you guys can, you know, just pause, rewind, save this video and, you know, just kind of really do your research for a product before you commit to purchasing it. Because I know that Chanel products, I mean, it's not as expensive as Tom Ford or like Clay Depot or anything like that, but you know, it still costs you a pretty penny. Like this is you know it's a much higher price point than your average mac product or your average clinique product like it's not something you would want to buy on a whim because i mean a blush alone is 45 dollars and even a lipstick is 37 dollars so i definitely understand if you want to really do your research and you know just try to make the best decision so today we're going to be continuing the chanel makeup 101 series and I'm going to be talking about the Chanel makeup bases today. So it's all gonna be about primers and bases and what they do, what's in them, how to use them, what's the difference, and all that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I wanna talk about is the LeBlanc Light Creator Brightening Makeup Base. And it does have an SPF of 40, so really high SPF. And this one is in the shade Rosé. This one is Chanel's best-selling um, makeup primer. It's the pink one. Um, primarily, honestly, I work in a very um, Asian-centric area. So I'll have a lot of Asians coming in looking for the pink primer because they just really love the brightening effect because this is what it does. It does have a pink tone. So it's gonna give you a very brightening effect. And it is, you know, it's light creator brightening makeup base. So it is going to offer you radiance. So this one is meant to just give you overall radiance. It is oil free and it is pink tone. So you can use this a couple different ways. If you are pink and tone already and you kind of just want a primer that's going to help complement the pink tone and just to help further brighten your skin, you can also use this as a primer. It is going to extend the longevity of your makeup. Um, personally, I don't gravitate towards this base very much just because I don't feel like, I don't know, like I'm not too yellow where I need a color correct, but I'm not exactly pink tone. I'm kind of right in the middle, so I don't really reach for this at all, but I have reached for this when I freelance. And I definitely like how it looks under makeup. So like I mentioned, you can use it if you are too yellow. Like if you feel like your skin is a little too yellow, it's looking a little kind of sallow, and you want something to just brighten it up, this would be really good just to color correct. 
because the pink is definitely going to help cancel out any um, yellowness that you have like if it's too yellow it would definitely help cancel that out and just neutralize it and give you a more brightening effect so this one is the leblanc in the 10 rose and then we have its counterpart the leblanc brightening um, makeup base in 20 mimosa so this one is pink toned and this one is yellow toned so similarly it is oil free um it will give you radiance um, and it would be really good for color correcting just like this one. So this one is yellow in tone. So I do reach for this one sometimes if I just feel like my skin needs a little more brightening. Um, it doesn't alter the color of your foundation at all. It's a, um, it's a common question that I get asked from a lot of um, my customers. Um, they want to know if any of these bases are going to alter the color of your foundation and definitely not. So similarly to the pink one, this yellow one would complement your skin. Say you are on the yellow side and you want something to help complement your yellow skin tone, this would help as well. But if you feel like your skin is too, like it's, it's kind of on the purple side, it's looking a little dull, it's looking a little sallow. If you feel like your skin looks like ashy, or if you feel like, or even if you feel like you have too much pink in your um, skin tone, you can definitely use this primer to color correct. So it's just gonna neutralize any of that dullness, that sallowness, that purple tone, that like overly pink tone. It's gonna help neutralize it and it's gonna give you a very brightening and radiant effect without, you know, altering the color of your foundation. So next we have another LeBlanc um, base, but this one is called the LeBlanc de Chanel Multi Use Illuminating Base. I know they all sound kind of the same, but I mean, I probably promise you they're different um so this one comes in the glass jar as opposed to the plastic jar this one you don't have to shake and I should have mentioned with this one these you do have to shake there's a little ball inside I mean you don't have to shake it like crazy but shake it enough to redistribute the product um so there is a little ball inside so you just shake it up and then you go ahead and use it um this one doesn't come with a ball it has actually it comes in a glass jar and actually has a pump so all you have to do is pump the product onto your hand um, and with all of these, I would definitely recommend that you gently press it into your skin. Um, I don't recommend that you rub it, just kind of gently press it. Um, and that's going to give you the best effect. So with this one, there is no SPF in it. Um, it is still oil free, however, but this one is a completely white, um, makeup base so honestly I would not recommend this to you if you are on the darker side like if you have a really deep tone because in my experience it can make you look ashy and or dull like I don't recommend this just it looks like if you don't rub it in right it's gonna look like you put on sunscreen that you didn't blend in so I don't recommend this for anyone who has you know too dark of a skin tone unfortunately but if you're on the lighter side and you just want something f like that's immediately going to give you a brightening effect like an immediate brightening effect I would go for this one it has a special blend of powders that's going to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so this one is going to smooth over your skin and it has there's something in it that helps with inflammation so it's going to help color correct too so if you have any like active acne where um it's, it looks a little inflamed and it looks a little irritated a little red this base is going to help kind of color correct it and just kind of soothe it so that the appearance of your acne or any irritation is going to decrease so all this one pretty much does, it smooths over your skin and it's going to give you an immediately brightening effect. You can use this, like I said, just, you know, as a primer, gently press it in. Or if you want, you can mix it in with your foundation. Or another way um, is afterwards with your foundation, you could just like take a little bit and just kind of like pat it on top of your cheeks just for that immediate like highlighted look. So that's, you know, there's a couple different ways to use this guy. Okay, the next um, base, and this is my personal... Um, a favorite. This is the one that I literally reach for every single day. It's the Boss Lumiere um, Illuminating Makeup Base. So this one does come in a plastic bottle just like the other ones, but this one you don't have to shake. Um, it's a little more of a jelly texture. The other ones kind of run a little bit. They're a little runnier. Um, this one's more of like a gel texture. You squeeze it out and it pretty much just looks like a little gel pee in your hand. Um, this one is oil free. It illuminates the complexion. It smooths out the skin um, and it extends the wear of the foundation. So I mean all of the primers pretty much extend the wear of your foundation but I feel like this one would be best for oily skin. Like if you needed, if you were an oily girl looking for just you know a primer to extend the wear of your foundation I would go with this one. Um, this is the one that I use every day. It's 
I don't know, I just reach for this one every day because it's easier. My favorite makeup base of all time is actually the Givenchy Mr. Matte because it literally keeps me matte for a very long time. Um, and, and I love the um, sensation of the primer. Like, it's not too greasy, it's not oily, um, and it's just smooth. But my close second is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Makeup Primers, and I layer the mattifying one underneath the smoothing one, and that's typically what I use. But if I don't have time to layer primers, I pretty much just go with this one. And I don't use it everywhere, actually. I just kind of put a drop in my hand, kind of rub it between my hands, and then I just kind of pat it right like in the middle of my face, on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. I really don't touch, like, my, you know, I really don't put primer on the outside of the perimeter of my face, really. I pretty much just kind of keep it in the center. So this is my go-to. It's great for oily skin. It definitely extends the wear. It gives me just a little bit more luminosity without making me look greasy, which I really appreciate. Overall, it's a really good primer. Um, it feels really nice and really lightweight. It absorbs into the skin right away, and it doesn't give you a residue. So this one would be a good one for oily skin. It definitely makes your makeup last a lot longer. Um, there's no color to it. It's, it's clear, essentially, when you put it on, as opposed to the other ones with the color. This one gives you a little bit of radiance without, you know, do overdoing it, but honestly, this one's my favorite one. Okay, and last um, primer that isn't exactly marketed as a primer, and it's not always mentioned as a primer, unfortunately, um, but I use that as a primer, and I love it for my um, clients. It's the Hydra Beauty Flash. So this one I have mentioned before in previous videos, um, I believe, but this one is my favorite makeup base for those who are on the dry side or for those who have mature skin because this will deliver hydration literally in a flash, henceforth Huge Beauty Flash. It will give you that instant hydration and it has a blurring effect in it so it helps just kind of like blur out any fine lines that they have. Any skin texture, it has a really good blurring effect. Unfortunately, a lot of like it sucks that no one really talks about this because it's a wonderful primer. Um, the consistency is more like a balm so I mean it's not it's not exactly greasy. It absorbs into the skin really fast, actually. So I'll literally just squeeze that a little bit, just kind of pat it, you know, just kind of rub it in my hands and then just pat it on my client's face. And it really does the trick. Like, it gives them that instant hydration. Like, it plumps up their skin a little bit. It really helps the skin prepare for makeup. It's a great primer for those who have mature skin and those who have really, really dry skin. And you kind of, you don't have time to, you know, put on a sheet mask for them and just really properly um, hydrate their skin. You kind of need to just, like, moisturize and like jump straight to makeup this is going to save your booty I can't even count how many times like I've had like a client who turned out like a last-minute client who was mature skinned and they have like the worst dry skin and I just needed to do something real quick so that their application so that their makeup application would go on smoothly and this one definitely does a trick Hey, and that was the last primer. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I hope that after you're watching this video, you guys can kind of like pick and choose what um, primer would be best for you guys. I mean, I know Chanel has a lot of primers and personally, I don't always use these primers because I kind of have my own stash that I like to use, but they're really good makeup bases, especially the rosé one. Like that one just flies off the shelf. Like it's insane how much we sell that. Like that one just sells all the time. Like every single day I sell at least two. At least, like, there isn't a day that passes by that I don't sell a makeup base. It's kind of insane. So, yeah, give these makeup bases a try. And like I always say, I always encourage that you go to the counter and test them out for yourself. Kind of, like, really try it on your skin. Um, try it on different areas of your skin and see how it works with you. Mix it with your foundation and see how it works. Ask for a freaking sample. Like, that's the only way you're going to know if it works for you is if you ask for a sample and you try it for yourself and you see how it works with your daily routine and your regimen because I mean it's 55 bucks each about and I don't want you guys buying it on whim so really just do your research ask for a sample and really try it out and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys really find a primer in this repertoire for you guys but yeah I hope you guys find this video helpful any questions comments concerns go ahead and put them in the comments down below message me text me whatever it is um you know reach out to me I love answering you guys so yeah yeah give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again next time bye